the mower line for the boat, pull it in, and uh, so right there, we're gonna pull it in and uh, load our gear, and we're gonna head up that mountain over there to the top. You can't really see it, but it's up there. Yeah. Clear. Clear. The boat's going to come in. He's going to take us down. Here. Cork is uh, pulling the boat in. Right here. You ready to do this, Cork? What's that? You ready? We're ready, man. packs fully loaded we're gonna try to spend three days out here take a goat I'm gonna go after a Boone and Crockett Sitka Blacktail headed back down now from our base camp we're gonna make our way back to the, uh, the beach and uh, last night was pretty damn cold it's uh, pretty tough I'm not gonna lie but we glassed, got up there, set up glassed all evening till dark and uh, didn't see anything. So, luckily, we had our Arctic Shield gear. Uh, they mean it when they say it, stay out longer because it works. And uh, tactical tailor pack holds everything I need, so <laughs> thank goodness for that. Get down here and hopefully shoot a nice buck or at least see something and uh, use my smith knife to uh skin that dude out pack it up load it out stay tuned Saw a deer on the way out. Couldn't get a visual on him. Pretty decent sized body though. That was a long cold night. Long cold night. Little little to no sleep. Way up there on that snow where we're trying to get. It just got too damn cold and miserable. Then uh, we got snow and rain moving in and the, uh, the beaches, the tides are pretty extreme so it's hard to, to adjust for all that. So our timing pretty much told us to get the hell out of there. And the weather.
No more deer. But we did find this. Look at that. Awesome. Anyway, yeah, we're down. taking our packs down now via four wheeler and, and trail. We are leaving the cabin there. Headed down to the uh, the beach area. The plane is on its way. Oh, I've tried several days, a few hours a day, to try to get some duck. And the ducks, uh, ducks like cold, windy weather with a little bit of sprinkles, maybe even some snow. And uh, it's just a bad time right now. Uh, the weather is horrible for deer. Uh, the bears have had a rough season. And they're hungry. They're eating grubs and everything they can get their hands on so of course it keeps it keeps the uh the deer moving too but uh you know not all is lost made a couple new friends alaska's beautiful i can say i've been to alaska didn't take a deer due to the same reasons that i didn't get a duck and uh but i did see see a deer saw a doe and I saw a bear the bear was running away so I didn't get to see um, the front of him but I saw the back part of his shoulders and his big ass head huge and it was a it was an infant is what Joe McKenzie was telling me and uh, so I just want to say thanks to Cork and Joe McKenzie um, Tactical Taylor Smith Knives um, Arctic Shield, and most of all, Perseverance Survival. If it wasn't for per Perseverance Survival, I wouldn't be here. So, what information you get is brought to you by Perseverance Survival. Wish I could have brought a deer home or footage or a picture of a deer, but there's always another time. So, thank you.